Hello everyone.、Um, it's been a long time, over a year, almost a year, over a year and a half since I posted my last video.、Uh, apologize for the like interrupted or not continuous updates,、um, but I'm back,、um, and I just logged into my uh, uh, LeetCode account. I see this badge. I'm really glad.、Uh, I'm really glad to see this badge. One hundred days in 2022, I was still able to log over one hundred days in 2022 in last year.、Uh, Happy New Year, everyone! By the way, it's the second day of the New Year in 2023. Everybody knows the problems on Leave Code just keep increasing every single week. When they、uh, post the new problems to the weekly and biweekly contests, and after the contests ended, they will publish them to be the regular、uh, lead code problems for users to solve. All right. So today is the second day of the new year.、Um, I'll just start、uh, ramp myself back up、uh, with an easy problem.、Um, lead code problem twenty five twenty. Count the digits that divide a number. Let's go through the problem together. Given an integer num, return the number of digits in num that divide num. An integer val divides nums if nums modulo val equals to zero.、Um, let's take a look at a few examples. Example one is number seven. Output one seven divides itself. Hence the answer is seven. Okay, seven modulo seven equals zero. That's what it means. And second example, one hundred twenty-one. There are three digits in this number: one, two, and one. So, why the output is two? That is because there is one. Could one one hundred twenty-one modulo one? This the first digit equals zero, but one hundred twenty-one modulo two, the second digit, it doesn't equal to zero. So this two doesn't count. And the third digit is one again. 121 modulo one equals zero. So that's why there are two two and there are two ones. So the output is two. All right.、Uh, the same goes for the third example. One two four eight. This number 1248 is is divisible by every single digit of this number. So that's why this is marked as a, an easy problem. It's truly easy.、Uh, we can quickly. Code up the answer. The answer is very straightforward. We will just go through have a while loop to go through every single digit of the number, and while we go through this every single digit, we'll use the original number to modulo this digit to see if it's if it's divisible. If the modulo result is zero, if it is zero, we、we'll、just add to the final result by one, and then return the final result. All right. So we'll have.、Uh, One variable called num. That is because we will、um, keep changing the the num. Well, it might not be a good idea. So I think what we will be doing. I don't think it's yeah. It's usually not a good idea to change the input. But I think for lead code problem, it's probably fine. Usually,、uh, we have a final. Especially in Java,、uh, in front of input, but this is for very simple algorithm practice. So I think it's fine. But bear in mind that's not very good practice. As long as、uh, num not equals to zero, that means there is still a digit that we haven't gone through yet. So what we'll do is we'll just get the digit、um, that is num modulo ten. We get this digit, and if Um, original. This number doesn't change. Modulo digit equals zero. That means it's this. The original number is divisible by this digit. What we'll do is we'll add it up. Okay. Then in the end, we'll just return the sum. So now we'll just try to hit run and see if it works. I think it should. Oh. Shoot! Oh, time limit. So that is because I forgot to、uh, move, change the number. So sorry about that. Num divided by ten. So we keep shifting. Is it? Oh yeah, it should be num equals num. 
divided by 10. So we, we always chop the most right digit off. Test it one more time. Accept it. Submit. All right, it's accepted. Let me do this one more time. Very satisfied. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, well, you see, Lico has added a lot of very nice features, which I'm not even super familiar with now. As you can see, I have been away from Lico for quite some time, but uh, it's fun. It's always fun to be back, to be um, to be challenged, and to keep learning something new, to keep myself sharp, right? To and every one of you guys should do the same, and you should really enjoy it. Uh, that's what I feel too. All right, accept it. Um, yeah, this is the solution to this very easy and straightforward, straightforward problem. Time complexity of this is just O n, n is the number of digits in this given number. Uh, let's see. Well, not really O n because this number should be really O one because this is a very small number, and um, space complexity is also O one. So very straightforward. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you guys like this problem or like me, how we walk through this problem, how I approach this problem, just give me a like and hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns or questions, just a comment down below um, and feel free to share this video. Um, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next one and happy new year.